Hello, my name is Karthik Chippa and I'm Abu Shahid. This video is about EMG Auth, which is EMG based smartphone unlocking system. So let's begin. This video presents system called EMG Auth that uses EMG data collected by a Mayo armband to unlock smartphones as a way to address the shortcomings of existing screen unlocking technologies such as facial recognition and fingerprint systems. These traditional systems have vulnerabilities. For instance, fingerprint systems can be compromised by special stickers while facial recognition can be fooled by 3D printed head models. The proposed EMG auth system leverages the Siamese network and enables users to unlock their smartphone simply by picking up the mobile phone and looking at it. How is it novel? Previous works using EMG signals to unlock phones require predefined gestures and specific arm placement limiting their applicability. EMG Auth proposes a new EMG based smartphone unlocking system that does not require predefined gestures and uses the Siamese network. EMG Auth uses data collected from the Mayo armband and allows for unlocking when picking up and watching the phone. The use of EMG signal for authentication has great potential due to its unique nature. The movements involved in picking up a smartphone are generally different for different individuals and consistent for a particular person due to the memory of their muscles. Now let's look at system description. First comes the system architecture. The EMG Auth is a system comprising of two components, a Mayo armband and an Android smartphone. The Mayo armband collects EMG signals from 8 different positions and transfers the data to the smartphone using Bluetooth. The data collected by the Mayo armband is used to train a Siamese convolutional neural network which is then transplanted to an Android smartphone using TensorFlow Mobile. The figure shows the system architecture with the left side showing the offline model training phase and the right side showing the online authentication phase. Now let's look at data segmentation. In EMG applications like this recognition, the signal should be consistent when performed by different people while in user authentication even small differences are important. EMG represents the structure of muscle and the amount of muscle contraction. The time from picking up the smartphone to watching the screen is generally no longer than 2 seconds. So the valid action time is set to 2 seconds. Since the Mayo armband has 8 sensors and works at 200Hz, an 8 by 400 signal matrix is used as one piece of basic training data. The data is divided into groups according to the corresponding people and pairs are made with different people labeled as 0 and same person labeled as 1. The paired data is then fed into the neural network for training. Now let's look at the rotation independence. The Mayo armband has 8 EMG sensors that correspond to specific skin areas making it challenging to rotate freely without affecting the EMG signal. To solve this, a novel method using data augmentation is proposed to expand the dataset and create rotation independence training data. By rolling the channels, a new dataset is created and the deep neural network can learn enough features and make reliable decisions regardless of the Mayo armband's orientation. Now let's see what a Siamese network is. The Siamese neural network is a popular choice for verification and recognition tasks. Unlike standard CNNs, the Siamese network requires less data and can handle dynamic user groups without needing to be retrained. This network has two inputs and one output that measures the similarity between inputs. The architecture of the network includes three convolutional layer and one fully connected layer with dropout layers to prevent overfitting. The network uses the Euclidean distance to measure the difference between the output vectors of the two identical sub-networks. The contrastive loss function is used to train the model to distinguish between different people. Now let's see experiment and evaluation. Different hyperparameters were chosen and their results are as shown in the graph. A general trend was seen that as the value of hyperparameter increases, the accuracy first increases and then decreases. This can be attributed to a low resolution input of mere 8 by 400. After this exercise, best hyperparameters were chosen and after 5 fold cross validation, an accuracy of 92.06% was achieved. 
कंक्लूजन सो ई एम जी और अनलॉक सेल फोन यूजिंग ई एम जी सिग्नल एंड साइमीज नेटवर्क फॉर ट्रेनिंग स्पेसिफिक डेटा ऑगमेंटेशन स्ट्रेटेजी वॉज यूज टू मेक सिस्टम इम्परवियस टू आम बैट रोटेशन अ डेटा सेट फ्रॉम फोर्टी पीपल वॉज ऑप्टेन टू क्रिएट एन ई एम जी कन्वोल्यूशनल साइमीज नेटवर्क ई एम जी और यूजिबिलिटी फॉर सेल फोन ऑफ वेरियड साइजेस लोकेशन एंड पॉशर्स वॉज टेस्टेड सर्वर इन एंड्रॉइड स्मार्टफोन लेटेंसी वॉज असेस टू डिटरमाइन स्पीड विच मीन्स रियल टाइम स्मार्टफोन अनलॉकिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स However, if the skin is wet, the EMG signal becomes unstable and the system may not perform well. We appreciate your engagement and attention. This was Abu Shahid. This was Karthik Chipa, and thank you for joining.